Hey, how are you doing? And in this video, we're going to make this fly enemy from Hollow Knight. So just download the fly enemy script from the link in the description. And I'm going to show you how to set it up as well as the logic behind the code. So let's get started. First of all, the logic, what this enemy does is that it basically moves in about a 35 degree angle and when it touches the wall, when the right side of it touches the wall, it will just flip and start moving upwards again in a 35 degree angle. But when its top touches the wall, then it will start going downwards. And when its downside touches the wall, it will again start moving upwards. So this is the basic logic behind the code and I just made the same game object with three empty game objects one called right check, roof check, and ground check. Now just drag and drop this code from the link in the description, and then let's give it some speed. Let's say 250. And here, respectively, just drag and drop your right check, roof check, and ground check game mode. Now all of this has to basically check for the ground. All of these three has to basically check for the ground. So here in the layer section, click on ground layer. If you don't have ground layer, and go here and add a ground layer just by writing ground layer. all right then these two are basically for the angle to make it move in a 35 degree angle if you put one here that means it will go one on the x-axis as well as one on the y-axis meaning it will go on a 45 degree angle if you keep this y-axis as 0.25 it will go on a mostly about a 35 degree angle now let's just go here this radius will create an invisible circle but i have made it visible so you can see the circle it'll make a small circle and these circles will basically check for the ground now the setting up process is actually just done if you just hit play you can see everything works fine cool so now let's go to the logic yeah the first logic is this right this is how it works basically if it just does that it flips blah, blah, blah. that is how it works but now let's go to the enemy i code and inside this code you can see let it open take some time god damn it that is so slow all right so what is happening here is that this is the reference to the speed of the enemy. This is the radius of the circle. Basically, this is the reference to the physics. This is the reference to that three game object, right check, roof check, and ground check. This is the reference to the ground layer. This three will check if the player is facing right or not, if the player touches the ground or not, roof or not, or the right or not. These are for the direction. When we start the game, it will just call this physics component which is here basically, wait, let me show you. You start the game, it will call everything from this physics component, meaning the gravity scale. Oh yeah, by the way, keep the rotation, freeze the rotation, otherwise something like this will happen. Let me see what will happen is that the player somehow will start rotating, see? Woo -hoo! Yeah -hoo! <laughs> all right, that will happen, so just keep it like that, all right? Now, this will call those physics components. This line of code basically makes the enemy move in some certain direction on the x-axis and the y-axis, which is controlled by these two values. Now, in this hit detection function, this physics 2 overlap circle basically makes an invisible circle on the right check, roof check, and ground check game object with some amount of circle radius, and all of them will check for the ground layer. You can make it check for other layers as well. Just write comma here and write let's say wall wall layer now if i just save this go back here and in the code yeah now you see another layer which is the wall layer you can make another layer called wall maybe you have different layer one ground layer the walls are different things right you can add another layer called wall yeah now let's say these yeah, now let's say this is not a ground, now it's a wall. You can make it like that, so it will work. So let not, let's not do that. <laughs> mm, let's go here. I'm gonna have it to nothing. I'm gonna remove this. And yeah, that is how you can do it, right? I guess you understood. Now for the hit logic, 
Now what the hit logic says is that if you are facing right and your right check touches the wall, right, touches the ground, meaning right touch is true, then you'll flip. It's not flipping, which means you'll just flip 180 and start facing on the left side as well as move on the left side. And if you do the same thing, meaning touch the wall again, but you're facing left, then you'll start facing right. That is it. Now in this roof touch and ground touch, if you touch the roof, then you'll, you'll start going down. If you touch the ground, then you'll start going up. Now, as I said before, this is an invisible circle. So to make it visible, we have to write on gizmos draw selected. You have to write it exactly like this, otherwise it won't work. Then give the gizmo some color. Then basically tell it to draw a wire, a spherical wire, on our right check, roof check, and ground check game object position with the circle radius. And that is what's happening here. Basically, all of them have the same radius circle, and it's on our ground roof and right check empty game object, right? So these three will check for the ground, and because of that, the player moves and flips and goes to the opposite direction. So that is all what is happening here. You can tweak the code however you like. This is all for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. You can follow me on Instagram, Discord, or any way you like. The links are in the description. Thank you for watching and like, share and subscribe by the way. Have a great day. Bye bye.